Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh, What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! No! Uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? <laughs> of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. No, uh -oh. he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah. Something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. 
He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we work. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. Yeah. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! Huh? I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor, what's wrong with him? Ah, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. Washington's really losing it! 
<laughs> we may not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Yeah, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. <laughs> See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys. I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <laughs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash. Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you? Because it is not fun for me. Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. 
You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. <laughs> Good idea, Frank. Let's all go together. I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors, like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? This ottoman could use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. <laughs> Ah! Not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> this is a mess. Is that a bone? <sighs> Sam, what are you eating? <sighs> no, no. It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No way, it's too tight. I need bathroom. 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 Stop! You can't fit in there. Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> Bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! <laughs> you know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great. You can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? <laughs> No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right, because I don't see how humans can use this room at all.
Some privacy. <laughs> Go take a hike. No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this. I can't do this to food. No. Oh. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice! I can't hold it anymore! Wash? <sighs> Washington? <laughs> what, what are you doing, boy? Just look at that! That's amazing! This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. <laughs> ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like a party going down. Yo, Yo Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba! <laughs> Samantha! Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. Yo, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, 
dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no? Fang. The uh, one and only kitten. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great! What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. Hmm. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it! Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> what in the world is that? It's Victoria! Adorable. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, Wash. Vicky's is fighting like a wild animal. Which is exactly what we mustn't do. We've got to act like well-behaved household pets. Which means... Well, for starters, we could cheer. Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them. Come on, break it up, guys. I'm going to come back for you, Vic. We're made for each other. You're the pussycat of my... Dreams? Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget. Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> <sighs> not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too. I could drink buckets. Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it going to be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, Fang, I hate to break it to you, but... Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. No, oh, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but... What exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. Vic, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Every time. Huh? Yeah. You pretty much get it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs>
Does Fang think Sam is prettier than me? Am I in opposite land? Uh, I think you've got a problem. You're torturing me, Sammy. Say something, do something. Anything that says you care, baby. Yeah? She's crazy about me. Samantha, before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are, well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You. You have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me. <laughs> Enough already! I'm the one you're supposed to be crazy about! What in the world is going on here? It's a game! Join in! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fang! Look at me! I'm so pretty! What's wrong? Can't you see? Run after me! Me! Hey, Fang! Leave Sam alone! I knew it would come down to this. Ha! <laughs> Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha! You wanna win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria! She's kind of blah compared to Samantha. You, Fang. Check out your sweetie Samantha now. Uh, what is this? You took my Samantha. The prettiest girl I ever met is gone. Great. Now you're back to worshiping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang, don't be upset. This is what you've always wanted. Me! Fang, wait up! Remember my pretty face? Want to explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. That reminds me. I'll be right back. Gotta go real bad. Like I was saying. Uh, just a sec. Samantha? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Really be a cat. Oh, come on, that doesn't look like a cat at all. Hmm. You guys, <laughs> look, look what I just found sitting in the kitchen. I've seen these on the TV box, and this one's brand new. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyone know what it is? Hmm, easy there. <laughs> Hello, people, it's a cell phone. This should be good. It goes ring, ring, and you answer it like this. <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> there, squeaky clean.
clean. <laughs> Which is more than can be said for Washington. Look at him. <laughs> Someone needs a B-A-T-A. <laughs> oh? Huh? Booth? We should give the dog a booth? What would he do with a booth? A B-A-T-A. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah! Hear that? I'm getting a B-A-T-H! What is it? I have no idea. Well, time for a nap now. A B-A-T-H is, of course, a mechanical belly scratching device. Um... Here she is, the B-A-T-H 3000. <gasps> Get that a good doggy, good doggy. Or maybe it's a designer snack. Yeah. Would Sir like ketchup on his B-A-T-H? Actually, I think it's a car. A dog car. <sighs> you mangy fake mutt, B-A-T-H spells bath. A bath? With water and soap and medicated conditioner? I'll be there with you, Washington. Cats don't get bathed, Ding Dong. They lick themselves clean. Mm. Mm. Mm, yum! Tasty! Sam, don't you get it? If the Living Stones bathe me, they'll discover I'm a fox and that you're a big fat boar. <laughs> then it's back to the wild for us. No warmth, no shelter, <gasps> no cable! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. Kindly take this meeting of the minds outside. TV time! This is a nightmare. Do you need to get your meat machine squeaky clean? Yes! Well then, we're on down to Ed's Mega Wash. Now! We're, we're coming, coming in! in. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, watch Eugenie and Susie. <laughs> yeah, right. My next nap starts <sighs> now. TV's a better babysitter than me anyway. Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Victoria, we're bored. <laughs> bored! 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 Quiet! Hmm? Who wants to play an awesome game? Huh? This has to work. I don't want to go back to the forest. <sighs> <laughs> Yay! Clean yet, mister. Uh. <laughs> hey, no rush. I'm coming, buddy. It's simple. The first one to blink is the loser. Okay, hmm. we got it. Hmm, well played, Victoria. Ha! Close huh? your eyes! Loser, loser, loser! I'm oh. not playing. I'm asleep. Just because you lost, you're pretending to be asleep. Come on, don't be a sore loser. Hmm, okay. Who'd like to go to the movies? Me, 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 me. That was worse than a hundred booster shots. Sam, I have to stay clean because I could not survive another bath. <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> But I know I can do it. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can only rely on myself. <laughs> like everybody knows, Sam, you're born alone, you die alone. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that in front of me? 
I'm starving here. I'm trying to stay clean, and eating is a dirty, dirty business. Ditch it, Sam. Ditch it from me. Woo! I'm lost. What's happening? The pair of trousers went swimming and got caught in a whirlpool. Ooh. Oh, crazy bubble monsters! If you get hungry, call for pizza. I just show my clean self to the living stones and it's bye-bye bath time. <gasps> Dessert. Delicious, delicious. Dessert. Washington, no. Eating is a dirty, dirty business. I know, I know, but I'm hungry. And I can <laughs> smell it. Sweet dessert. Have mercy. <clears throat> Curse you, Belly, for leading me astray. No, save you, Washington. I'm okay. I'm still squeaky clean. to wash Washington. I'll help you on one condition. You guarantee me 12 hours uninterrupted sleep. Deal! Sorry, kids, intermission! <laughs> Whoa, these glasses really work. And it smells chickeny. <laughs> Where is that dirty dog? I can't wait. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I can't find him, honey. Come on, let's stretch this back into shape. <laughs> oh boy, I need somewhere more sanitary to hide. Surprise for you in the bathroom! <gasps> okay, that's enough. <laughs> now, where's Washington? <laughs> Washington! Oh no! He said he was roasting in there! It's okay, I know mouth to mouth. <laughs> uh, Sam, that's a chicken. I wondered where that went. Then where's Washington? Washington? I think she's in the bathroom. Yeah. Washington? He started without us. What a good dog. Let's rinse off those bubbles. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Washington. This will be over in a minute. You've got to do something quick. Open one. <laughs> We get them out! <laughs> Hang on a minute. All that foam smells mighty minty. Toothpaste isn't cat food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Washington rinsed all by himself. He's squeaky clean. This photo's gonna look great in the pet gallery. We'll put it right next to Victoria's first hairball. <sighs> what a nightmare. I have taken my first and last bath. I thought foxes were supposed to be smart. Around here, dogs get a bath once a week. Oh, yeah. What? No! 
12 hours uninterrupted rest. Guaranteed. <sighs> Washington, <laughs> it's a call for you! Stay away! <laughs> Take a message, I'm not home! Yes, you are! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Is this the life or what? Seriously, can you imagine if we were still in the wild? <laughs> Sleeping out in the cold, scavenging for food. Hey, where's Vic? She usually rains on our parade about now. Don't you see, Bobby? Your favorite food is eggs, and I'm allergic to eggs. We can never be together. <laughs> I don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> Guys, Vic's getting all worked up over a stupid soap opera. <sighs> well, I've got better things to do. I think I'll go chase a flying saucer. Let's go, Wash! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington, you are wearing me out, buddy. Arf, 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 arf. All right, one more. Flying saucer, flying saucer, flying saucer! <laughs> That's our cue. Inside, everyone. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> oh no, my suit. I've got to get it back before someone sees me naked. Hey, you, fuck. Quick, I need your help. Darling, before I met you, I was nothing more than an ordinary brain surgeon with an evil twin brother that stole my family's fortune. But now, I'm a man in love. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? I said, why are you looking at oh. me like that? Never mind, just help me hide. Hide? From what? <gasps> <laughs> I could have sworn I saw that pesky fox dart this way. Don't worry, they won't have a clue we're back here. What? What a beautiful ficus! Wow, yeah, but we better roll. What did you do to make those guys chase after you? Nothing. I just dug around in some trash cans and the humans got all mad. Oh, domesticated people are the worst. Well, actually, worse than a domesticated person is a domesticated animal. They are the absolute worst. Uh, you don't say. Yeah, they just lay around all soft and flabby, letting humans boss them around. Disgusting, right? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> My name's Meadow, by the way. Thanks for saving me. Anytime. I'm Washington. Well, Washington, I guess this means you're my hero, huh? Uh, uh, Honey? Oh. Have you seen the dog? I'll go check outside. Uh oh, <laughs> humans. That's my cue. Wait! Will I ever see you again? Maybe here, tomorrow, for dinner? It's a date. <sighs> I hope this feeling never goes away. You better scram too before that human and a stupid dog get here. Oh, I hate dogs. Gross. <laughs> yep, that feeling went away. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. What is wrong with you, flower? Loves not, loves not, loves not, loves not. Ah! Seems like you're pretty anxious about this girl, huh, pal? How can you tell? 
just a feeling. It's hopeless. I can't keep up this charade. Once Meadow figures out I'm domesticated, she'll hate me. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, buddy. Can I say something here? I know, I know. You love that this is blowing up in my face. No, I was gonna say, don't give up. I mean, come on. You can't keep up this charade. Give me a break. You're the king of charades. Why are you being so nice to me? Uh, look, I don't like it either, but I need something to make me believe in love again, okay? Okay. Oh. Actually, you know, you're right. I'm me. Let's do this! Yeah. I think I see her. Hurry! How's the makeup coming, Susie? Yeah, he needs to look like he's been out fighting in the wild. Yep, just one more touch. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> ah! Actually, that looks incredible. I know. Okay, to your positions, everyone. Hello there. Wow. Hi. What happened to your face? Eh, got in a fight with another wild animal. I think it was a bear. Oh, I wonder how that bear got ketchup all over his paws. Well, I'm starving. I think I'll go use my wild animal foraging instincts and rustle up some grub. Be right back. Take it. Go, go, go! Dinner is served. Where did you get all that? No big deal. Just found some berry bushes and a couple nut... trees? Oh, I love nuts and berries. Me too. I eat them in front of the TV all the time. Oh. TV? What are you talking about? And what are these? Uh, uh, candy almonds? From a candy almond tree? Uh, well, I... Uh... Huh. Love hangs in the balance. We need to go right to the finale. You are acting very weird. Me? No, I'm not. How am I acting? Flying saucer! Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <laughs> Yee-hee! What is going on? Look, the truth is, I'm... I... A wolf? No, I'm... Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, right! A wolf! Don't be afraid. I'll defend you with my wild beast defense skills. seen a wolf this deep in the city before. Oh, no! Glad we spotted him before he did any harm. I've got to stop them. Are you crazy? Don't go after those psychos to save a wolf. If they see a wild fox, they'll throw you in the van, too. You're right. But if I was a domesticated animal... What is that? I'm very sorry. I've been lying to you. I don't have an evil twin brother. I am the evil twin brother. Huh? No! Your mustache was the thing I loved most! Meadow, the truth is, while I'm a fox, I'm not a wild fox anymore. In fact, lately I've been living life as... a domesticated dog. What is that? I know you'll never want to see me again. I'm sorry. Love doesn't exist. What was that? Oh, look, an adorable dog! Ah, Where did you come from, little wolf, guy? Wolf, check his collar for an address. Yes, it's Washington. He's distracting them for us. Quick, Susie, grab the keys. Grab them. 
Oh, he wants to shake hands. Yo, Moose, get it? Ha <laughs> ha! <Aww>. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the real reason I'm here is to say, I used to think domesticated animals were soft. But after I saw what you did for your friends, I realized I was wrong. So maybe, if it's okay with you, we could have dinner again sometime. Yeah? I mean, uh, sure. That'd be cool. Okay, great. It's a date. Maybe you could pick some more food from that candy almond tree. 